Welcome to a practice SAT math question. This question were asked, which of the following would shift f of x right three units? So we want to be able to recognize the type of translation using function notation. So for this question, we'll review some notes on function translations, and then we'll also show how to use the graphing calculator to solve this problem. Let's first review our notes. For these notes, we're assuming c is always positive. So if we have y equals f of the quantity x plus c, so the input is x plus c, then f of x will be shifted left c units. And this is the opposite direction that we might think because we're adding a constant to the input x and the graph is actually moving left. And if we have y equals f of the quantity x minus c, again c is positive, then the graph would be shifted right again the opposite direction that we might think because we're subtracting a constant from the input. But notice how if we have plus or minus c inside the parentheses or part of the input, then the graph is shifted left or right. Remember our question talks about a shift right, so we're looking for a function in the form of f of the quantity x minus a constant. But before we go back to our question, let's also review vertical shifts. If we have y equals f of x plus c, notice how the plus c is not part of the input, then f of x is shifted up c units. This seems much more intuitive. Remember, f of x is equal to y, so we're adding a constant to the function value, or y value, which shifts the graph up. And then if we have y equals f of x minus c, then the graph is shifted down. So going back to our question, and because f of x is shifted right three units, we should be able to narrow down our choices to b or c. And while it may seem f of the quantity x plus c would shift the graph right, it's actually f of the quantity x minus three. So our answer is c, f of the quantity x minus three. Now let's verify this answer with a graphing calculator. To do this, we're going to enter a basic function in y1, and then we'll enter one of our choices here into y2. So let's press y equals, let's use y equals x squared as our basic function. To make sure we can tell the functions apart, I'm gonna go to the far left, press enter once so that y1 is going to be the thick graph. And now for y2, let's go ahead and check our answer. We're gonna enter f of the quantity x minus three, but on the calculator it'll be y1 of the quantity x minus three. So we're gonna press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and then in parentheses, x minus three. So the only difference here, instead of using f, we're using y1. And to make sure we have the standard window, we'll press zoom six. So there's the basic graph, and here's the graph of the translated function. Notice how it has been shifted right three units, verifying our solution. Let's also check a few of these other ones. If we wanted to check b, we could press y equals, and just change this to y1 of x plus three. And if we press graph, there's the original, notice how now the graph is shifted left three units, and we're looking for a shift right. Let's also check D and E. So we'll press Y equals, go down to Y2, and we're going to close the parenthesis here, so Y1 of X is F of X, and then we'll add three. What we'll notice is D would shift the graph up three units, which we see here. And now if we go back and change the plus three to minus three, the graph will be shifted down three units. So there's the original, and there's the shift down three units, which would be from E. Let's also check A, even though we should recognize this as a vertical compression. So I'll go back to Y equals, go ahead and clear this out, and I'm gonna type in, in parentheses, one divided by three for one-third, and then fars, right arrow, 
enter, enter for Y1, and press graph. Notice how the graph is going to be wider because it's vertically compressed. So if we're not able to recognize the function translation or transformation from the function notation, we can use the graphing calculator to determine our answer. I hope you found this helpful.